We are 24 days until Christmas, and you may be planning to travel either to see family or just to get away. This morning, we're talking with Alex Eaton of Royal Travel. He's got some suggestions on how to make this the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's great to see you. You know, a lot of people don't really, with travel, we're kind of getting back into the, the rhythm of things, yeah. and we just don't really play by the rules anymore. So a lot of us want to wait till the last minute. That's really not advised. Especially now that flight availability has diminished dramatically compared to last year or even in 2019. So yeah, waiting to the last minute is usually not, not the best idea, at least certainly for buying airline tickets. What are kind of the things that we need to be keeping in mind? Because if you haven't traveled in a long time and the limited uh, availability and the cost of these flights. Yeah, prices are up. 40% over last year, 30% compared to 2019, and it's a supply and demand issue, right? There's there's a lot fewer flights, a lot fewer seats, and the demand has come back big time. So that that that's a real big issue. If you if you haven't looked at airline ticket prices for a while, you're going to have some sticker shock. And where once upon a time, if you booked early enough, you might be able to get a discount. So when should people, if you're looking to fly during that week of of Christmas, if you're looking to fly for Christmas, uh, book today. <laughs> tomorrow as soon as possible mm -hmm. um, flights are absolutely filling up and and your the deals are there's still some deals to be made out there but you need to do it now are there specific places that are more popular at this time of year New York is still hands down the biggest domestic uh, Christmas destination holiday destination in in the country um, and the nice thing about being in Tulsa now is we have a non-stop flight um, but out of Tulsa to LaGuardia leaves very early in the morning, but you don't have to change planes, and it's it's a it's a wonderful addition to the to the service here. Let's talk a little bit about some of the suggestions, and we've put them on a full screen for people to see. So when you travel before Christmas, <laughs> a lot of us like to wait till the last minute. You may not get off work until that last. Right. With Christmas being on a Sunday, uh, what are you suggesting? Well, absolutely. If if you can, uh, if you have the flexibility to work from home or work from anywhere, which a lot of people do now, um, flying on that Monday, Tuesday before Christmas, don't. Wait till that Thursday, Friday. Those are real pinch points. Come back later. Um, come, don't fly on that Monday after Christmas. Come back on Tuesday or Wednesday if you can. Um, try and avoid uh, those really, you know, high volume points. Another suggestion, and I was telling you during the break, I get put out with people that bring their luggage on the plane. <laughs> but you had some other suggestions when it comes to uh, carry-on bags. Absolutely. Part of the thing you have to be prepared for is plan for delays and plan f plan for disruptions. If you don't have your bags with you and they're checked bags in the system, your odds of losing your bags go up dramatically. So keep them with you. Pack light. I know that's hard. Um, especially for some of us. Especially for some of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but absolutely try to bring your bags with you and keep them as close as possible. Something that I've noticed and now that we've kind of get back into it, when I look and when I'm booking by myself, not through a travel agent, and I, I say, oh, this is a great deal, and I start putting in these flights, the layover time sometimes can be really tight uh, connections. Yes, it's, it, it's really important to look at what those connection times are. Coming out of Tulsa, invariably, you go to Dallas, go to Chicago, and there's a layover time. Well, a, quote, legal connection time is 35 minutes. And if you get delayed, have any slowdown getting off the ground in Tulsa, making that 35-minute connection is, is really difficult. And so look at those flights. And sometimes you can get cheaper flights by having longer connections. Buy yourself some time. Get two hours in an airport. It's really not a bad thing. Gives you plenty of breathing room to get from one flight to the next. Yeah, it makes it a lot less stressful. Yeah. OK, I want to talk about Airbnbs before we wrap up. I've got about a minute. Sure. I want to show you a video. So the first time I ever experienced Airbnb, mm -hmm. I was so thrilled thrilled with it. It turned out great. Went to Colorado, had plenty of space for the family, yep. but there are pros and cons. What do you guys suggest? Well, a couple of things. Um, absolutely do your homework. Um, look very carefully at the photos that, that the, the renter is providing you. If there are only a few photos, it's probably suspect as to what the, the property actually looks like. Um, be prepared to understand that all of the amenities that you might want um, aren't going to necessarily be available for you. I mean, we've had a lot of customers who come back and say, I didn't like the coffee pot, right? So you have to be willing to, to do a lot of, of different things. The other thing is be very, very mindful of, of the final price because put in the actual dates that you plan to be there um, when you're looking at it because not only, you know, uh, prices change daily, 
Um, so you can pay $90 for the first day and $200 for the next day. Gotcha. And when you check out, there are a lot of fees that get tacked on at the end. They're fine fees. They're legal and, and they're necessary, but they, they tend to surprise people at the end and they get very disappointed when there's another $150 added at the end for cleaning up mm -hmm. and things like that. Awesome. So be mindful of that. Well, and I just want to remind you, a lot of people have gotten into doing it on themselves, but having a travel agent can be beneficial. Well, I, I can't tell you how important it is when you are traveling and you get disrupted to be able to pick up the phone and call somebody who you know. I mean, we're a Tulsa-based company. We're in Austin, Texas, and Oklahoma City. And I can tell you that, that, that we have relationships with our customers, um, and it is a big deal to be able to talk to somebody who doesn't work for the airlines. When American gets delayed, everybody calls American, mm -hmm. right? So their lines get backed up, and it's very hard to get a hold of people. So yeah, it's a big deal for most people, and, and certainly a value proposition for our business. Love it. Thanks, Alex. Pre happy holidays. Always good to see you. All right, we got more six in the morning after this, including an update on the angel tree. Stay with us.